Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can show multiple sheets in a single view of your uh, SurfUI application. So a scenario can be you may have two buttons and you want to show a different kind of a sheet on the click of first button and then a different sheet on the click of the second button. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just use navigation view. Navigation view is going to allow us to have that navigation bar. I can go ahead and add vStack inside the navigation view because I do want to add multiple controls, which are button controls. So first sheet, or I can say show first sheet. And I can use the same exact logic to create a second button, which can be show second sheet. And inside the navigation view, if I want to, I can go ahead and also add a navigation bar title, and I can simply set it to multiple sheets or whatever you want. Okay, so the question is, how do we display these sheets? And there are multiple ways of displaying the sheets. I can go ahead and say sheet, and you can see the sheet function takes in the is presented and the content. Now, in this case, we have two is presented because either we want to show the first sheet or the second sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and create a state variable, which will be called show first sheet, which will be a Boolean value. And initially it will be false. And I will create another one, which will be a so show second sheet, which will be also false. Let's try out with the first one. When you click the first button, I'm going to go ahead and set this to true. So show first sheet equals to true. And now in the is presented, I can actually pass that. So it will be show first sheet. And for the content view, just to keep things simple, I'm just going to use a text view, which is saying first sheet. All right. And let's go ahead and move this a little bit up or something. Right here is fine. Let's go ahead and align this. Okay, so right now we have only configured for the first sheet. And let's go ahead and try clicking on the show first sheet button to see if it works or not. So I'm going to go ahead and run the app. And when I click on the show first sheet, it does show the first sheet. The second sheet button doesn't really do anything, which is fine because we're not really doing anything in the second sheet button. So in the second sheet button, I'm just going to say show second sheet equals to true. And in order to display the second sheet, I'm just going to copy this code, paste it, and change this so that this is using the show second sheet. And the text will say second sheet, right? This will be our first try. I mean, common sense approach that, okay, this should work. Uh, let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to go ahead and run this. I'm going to go ahead and click on the show first sheet. Nothing happens. For some reason, it's dead now. And show second sheet does work. So only one of them is actually working, which is the show second sheet or the one that is coming at in the last. So how can we fix this problem? Well, there are multiple different ways of fixing this problem. The first one is to move this and attach it to the actual button. So I'm just going to move the first one and attach it to the button. So right after the button, I'm just saying that you have to show the first sheet. And you guessed it right, because we are going to do the same thing for the second one. Let's go ahead and build it again. And this time, let's go ahead and run it. So show first sheet now show the first sheet, show second sheet shows the second sheet. And this is perfectly working fine. And you can definitely use this approach. This is great. There is another approach that I want to show you. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. You can use it, but there is also another approach. The another approach would be going back to the previous one. 
there we go. And what we're going to do is we can create some sort of an enum that can tell us whether the first sheet is to be presented or the second sheet is to be presented. For that, I'm going to create a common is presented Boolean property and I will set it to false. I will not really be using the show first sheet or show second sheet, so we can simply remove that and replace it with is presented to true and over here also is presented to true and over here also is presented to true or whatever the value is. But how do we determine whether we have to show the first sheet or the second one? Well, for that, I'm going to go ahead and create an enum and I will call it active sheet. In this case, we will have the first and the second. You can be a little bit more descriptive over here, but I'm just saying first or second to say that this is the first sheet, this is the second sheet. Now we can go ahead and use these properties or we can create these, uh, utilize this property. So I can say state private var and I can say active sheet, which will be of type active sheet and we will set it to the first. So that's the default one. So when you click on the first one, we can go ahead and say self dot active sheet equals to first. And for the second one, we can say self dot active sheet equals to second. Inside over here in the it's presented, we can perform a check. If the self dot active sheet is equals to the first, then we can return a view which will be the first sheet. Else we can return another view or a different view which will be an active sheet and we're going to check if it is second and if it is second then we can go ahead and uh, let me actually write it again because I think I messed up somewhere. Here we go. So else if self dot active sheet is equals to second then we can return a different kind of a control, second sheet. Let's go ahead and run this application now. And when I click on the show first sheet, it shows the first sheet. When I click on the show second sheet, it shows the second sheet. So it works exactly the same way, but now we are using one sheet and inside this sheet function, we are checking whether the active sheet is the first one or the active sheet is the second one. And based on that, we are returning the actual control, this one or this one. So that's it. So you have now learned multiple ways of displaying multiple sheets on a single view. Hey, if you want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my Udemy courses. I have a lot of different Udemy courses, but the one that you might be interested in will be Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. You can see this is a 21 hour course, 21 hour course. And this is also the best selling course with more than 4,500 students. And this covers pretty much everything that you ever wanted to know about Swift UI. It starts with creating combining views, building lists and navigation. I also dive into MVVM design pattern, which is the preferred pattern when you are working with Swift UI applications. Then it's going to show you how you can integrate core data with your Swift UI applications. I also have a brand new section on Swift UI 2.0 or iOS 14. And you can see it has a lot of different lectures. I also show you how to create a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous credit card user interface. So there's a lot of stuff, 21 hour of stuff in this Swift UI course. Now the best way to get this course is to check out the links in the description and there will be a lot of different links for a lot of my different courses. So make sure that you check out other courses also. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. And thank you so much for your continuous support.